Like many countries, nuclear power development in China took a pause after the Fukushima accident. The Chinese government stopped approving new projects and also started carrying out comprehensive inspections on existing units as well as those units under construction. During the past couple of years, however, we've actually seen nuclear power development in China resuming again with new units being constructed. In 2018, China added uh, six new nuclear units with a total new capacity of about 7.9 gigawatts. And that increases the country's total nuclear power capacity to about 44 gigawatts. However, because the power fleet in China is so huge today, it's about 2,000 gigawatts, even with this large nuclear fleet, nuclear only accounts for about 2% of the generation capacity in China. And that actually means that it's generating not a whole lot of power in terms of the total share. It's less electricity generated from nuclear than from wind power. These new nuclear units in China all employ technologies uh, that are considered third generation. Uh, they include the AP1000 technology by Westinghouse, the French design EPR, and also China's own Hualong 1000 technology. Uh, as these new units come online and stabilize their operations, we also expect the Chinese authorities to start approving new units again, uh, which they've stopped since 2015. Over the next decade, we expect new projects to continue to come online mostly in coastal provinces because inland provinces are still much more concerned about nuclear safety. Uh, in addition, inland provinces and the western provinces are also where uh, China's coal and renewable resources are at, and they currently have a surplus of power generation capacity. So they actually don't need new baseload generation from nuclear. IHS market expects China's nuclear power fleet to continue expanding in the 2020s, reaching about 100 gigawatts by 2030. However, because other technologies are also growing rapidly in China's power fleet, even by then, with 100 gigawatts, nuclear will only account for about 3% of China's installed power capacity. But as Chinese companies mature in building and operating nuclear plants, we also expect them to start exporting their technologies to other parts of the world where nuclear power uh, is still acceptable, for example, in South Asia and in the Middle East.